Tifu by laughing about unfortunate last names while coming out of anesthesia. I had breast surgery a while back, and a nurse asked me to wait for a pre-surgical pregnancy test in a little area across from a handwritten sign reading Cooter. I was halfway concerned they were going to operate on the wrong lady bits, so I took a photo and asked a tech nurse back in the imaging department to clarify the Cooter mystery. She promised to investigate, assuring me they'd only be carving up my breast that day. I was just about to go upstairs for my four when the X-ray ultrasound nurse, true to her word, tracked me down with an update. She explained that the sign was placed there next to the entrance of a waiting room temporarily designated for the patients of a highly regarded ENT, the distinguished Dr. Cooter. Shaking her head, she said they could have at least written doctor in front of his name. When I awoke in a recovery room still impaired by the anesthesia, Cooter apparently continued to weigh heavily on my mind. I immediately began explaining my earlier concerns to the recovery nurse, and gigglingly repeated the other nurse's observation that the hospital should have included doctor on the sign for clarity's sake. The nurse soberly expressed her sympathy for the doctor, mentioning that she also had an unfortunate last name that had led to bullying while growing up. I tried to assure her that her last name couldn't be as bad as Cooter, but then she told me her last name was Butts. The next day I hoped I'd misremembered the conversation, so I looked up the surgical notes on my chart. I did indeed find a discharge entry written by a nurse Butts. Ugh, I'm still mortified. I would have paid the cat tax with the original Cooter photo, but unfortunately I can't upload attachments. DLDR while coming out of anesthesia, I was laughing about a doctor's name to a recovery nurse who had grown up being made fun of for her own last name, 